Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is India, also known as Indie Bindi Braids, and I'm a braider here in Orlando, Florida. And here on my channel, I show you guys tips, tricks, and techniques to help elevate your braiding business. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a new soft lock technique that I use that creates a flat base with no knot. So this is something that I just started doing, and I swear by it, there's no going back. <laughs> So the hair that I'm using today is Shake and Go's Water Pop and Twist hair. This hair is a tight water curl that can be used for locks like we're doing right now. You can also use them for passion twists, butterfly locks, any style that you need like a tight curl for. I particularly like this brand of hair just because of how bouncy it is and how easily it separates. And you want to make sure that whatever hair that you're using when you're doing locks is really easy to separate because if it gets tangled, it's just a whole mess. So I'm starting off by separating my piece of hair into three sections and I'm gonna braid down about an inch or two. Really just depends on what you wanna do. You can really braid down all the way until you run out of hair. But I start off with about an inch of a braid and I twist down the rest. This just makes it a little easier when it comes time to take it down because it's easier to untwist a twist than unbraid a braid, if you know what I mean. So now I'm gonna grab my crochet lock. On the top of it, there's a loop, and you're going to take your hook and place that hook directly into the loop. Then you're going to attach it onto the natural hair, close the hook, and pull that hair through the loop. Lastly, you're going to take the hook one more time, put it through the base of the braid, and pull the natural hair back through. Now I'm going to take my pop and twist hair and start wrapping the lock from the base. The method that I was using before this really left a big knot at the base of the braid and I was really looking for a way to get rid of that completely. So using this technique, I'm able to have a smooth base without that big old knot. I also noticed when I was wrapping the lock that maybe I shouldn't have gotten ombre color. I didn't take into account that the ombre would get lighter and wouldn't match the color of the crochet lock. But honestly, I still think it came out really cute. And I'm going ahead and tying off a little knot just so that the hair doesn't unravel. And then I take my hands and kind of palm roll it together.
So my client also had really thick hair and that gave it the look of the lock being a little thicker versus if your client has thinner hair, the lock is gonna be a little skinnier. I do dip my locks in hot water just as if you were to dip braids and this really gives it a lot of flexibility and movement versus the locks being pretty stiff. And the last but the best part, you already know, the mousse. What's the style without the mousse? So here I'm just applying it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and taught you a new technique that you can try out. Don't forget to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button. And don't forget to tune in next time for more tutorials like this. And India did these. Three, two, one. Soft locks. They're kind of wet, excuse that. <laughs> Parting probably A1. Oh shit, oh shit. Get into it's it. It's falling. <laughs> They're soft. Very not stiff at all, not heavy. You know what I'm saying? It's not pulling on anything. So if you want some, get at her. At <laughs>